What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Subac Kayak Fishing. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, today I'm going over my last trip out on Lake Kissimmee. Uh, my whole goal with going out here was uh, I wanted, I really wanted to put some time in with a, uh, with a flipping jig and just work on something that I don't really do all that often. So I did spend most of the day uh, flipping a jig around the Kissimmee grass, but um, I started out throwing a chatterbait in the morning just outside of um, the Kissimmee grass line. I saw a lot of shad popping uh, about, you know, uh, maybe like 10, 15 yards off of that grass line. So I tried to back off a little bit uh, and see if there were any bass around cruising, roaming, and I didn't get bit. And this whole grass line was, uh, it was, it was really wide so you could go and uh, fish on the outside edge you can go fish right down the middle of it you could fish on the inside edge of it and this whole line was a few miles long and i spent a lot of time working my way down this grass line going to the stand on the outside going to the inside um and fishing on the ins on the inside edge and i could not get a bite i spent my first five hours four probably four hours fishing this grass line uh before making a, a pretty a much longer run maybe a two mile run somewhere else um but i threw the chatterbait for a while i was throw, uh using the big easy on top uh i threw a frog couldn't get bit at all um and then at some point i was just like all right you know i'm just gonna start throwing this jig around uh that's why i came out here today to use this jig so i might as well get started um but still could not get bit on this on this first line of Kissimmee grass that was I'd say I probably fished about two miles of the stretch um, mixing it up all the way, all along the way you know I, I saw bait fish all over the place um, shad were popping I heard big explosions going on and I just could not figure out how to catch these fish so I was like alright you know I just need to go try a different section of the lake um, once I made my way over to this new section of the lake, I couldn't quite put my finger on what was different. I mean, the, the biggest thing that happened was the, the wind laid down quite a bit. You can see the, the, the water's pretty flat, completely calm. There was really no wind. Um, but one of the biggest things was there was still current. Uh, and I don't know where it was coming from. Like I said, there was there was no wind. It, it was completely dead there for for a little while, but there you could still see the water uh, pushing the, pushing some debris around. So I was really surprised by how flat the water was, but still seeing stuff moving in the water. And when I saw that, I just went to the furthest out point I could find and started flipping my jig into uh, into the Kissimmee grass and. Um, that's where I finally got my first bite. It was a long day. It was um, a, a whole lot of doing nothing and then like 10 minutes of a ton of action and then a whole lot of doing nothing. And then I ended up getting some, uh, I, I got a couple bites towards the end of the day in places I really wasn't expecting to get bit. It was more of like, a, oh, I'm passing that. I'm just gonna kind of, I'm just gonna throw this jig in there and see what happens. But I fished, when it comes to the Kissimmee grass, you, you look at it, you're like, okay, that's all, that's all Kissimmee grass. But every bit of it was different. Um, there was areas where it was really thick and that's, um, that's where I had my, my luck with the Kissimmee grass or flipping the jig into the Kissimmee grass was where it was really thick, um, but also very far offshore. Um, basically just close to deep water. Um, GoPro, I shouldn't recording. even say that I had luck doing it because really I caught I caught all all three of my fish out of the Kissimmee grass off of this one point you know I mean we're gonna go through these these videos here showing uh, showing these fish I caught but in reality you know like I got I got all these fish off in one spot uh, and then I, I tried to I tried to duplicate I tried to replicate um, I tried to replicate what I was fishing where I was fishing I found Kissimmee grass that looked the same. I found Kissimmee grass that was in the same depth. I found, um, you know, I found every variation of it. But for some reason, there was something really special about this one 
point. Um, it was, like I said, it's a far out point. Um, you can see it gets really sparse right there on the edges, and then uh, it gets thick, you know, f five to ten feet into it. But my, my two bigger fish, my two best fish on the day, came right on the edge. Uh, right, and it wasn't super thick, but it wasn't super thin. And no pro, stop they recording. came right on the edge of this grass, and then my third one coming back through here, I, I tossed in a little bit into the th more thick grass, and I got a third one out of this spot, but it uh, it wasn't very big but still i mean crazy to be uh grabbing getting that many fish out of one spot and after fishing for three miles and not getting anything from here i kept working up this exact same kissimmee grass line throwing my jig into it and the same thing kind of happened where i saw grass that was thick th grass that was thin grass that had some lily pads mixed in and yeah, like i just it was really, really hard to figure out exactly where to find these bass. Like, I think I just lucked into one spot that just happened to be holding some fish because I would end up in an area where I thought I had all the exact same conditions and I just could not get another bite. Which is what made my... Uh, my next two catches uh, to finish up the day kind of funny uh, just because it's not it's not at all what I was expecting to to get bit out of so I did I really didn't mind the fact that I didn't catch many fish today because the whole my whole goal with going out to uh, out to Lake Kissimmee was just to really get some work in flipping a jig into the Kissimmee grass which is something I don't get to do very often and having the motor guide on my kayak now I plan on doing a lot more flipping a lot more punching um, just techniques that are a little bit more difficult when you don't have something that can hold you in the same position. Uh, I've always had the uh, the manual power pole in my kayak, which has been good, but if the wind really picks up, um, it can be a challenge. Or if you need to go into the wind, then you're just kind of out of luck. Um, so I kept working down that line where I caught the three fish. Like I said, I didn't catch anything more, but some of the conditions were changing, you know. Um, water clarity, depth, things like that. I find I found areas that were still constant, but some of the big changes were, um, you know, wind blowing. And like I said, there was current when I first, when I caught those fish and I couldn't quite find areas that had that current anymore. So I'm kind of just heading back to the ramp. And then I started seeing um, these trees sticking up out of the water. And I've seen them out on Lake Kissimmee before. And it's been about probably close to a year since I've fished this area of the lake. And um, I, uh, I've seen these trees and I realized that the water is probably at least a foot higher than it was a year ago. I saw, anyways, I saw this tree sticking out. I was like, all right, well, I might as well just flip one in there and see what happens. And uh, you know, lo and behold, here we go. We got to we pull a bass out. Um, unfortunately, I ended up catching another bass out of, uh, out of another tree just like this, um, which was, you know, on the jig also. And, uh, I was really surprised to catch them because I've, I've gone by these trees before a million times and I've, I've never caught a fish on them. I've tried flipping things into them, but not never spent a lot of time. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's enough of those trees to really make a pattern off of, but it was cool to just kind of be floating by and say, oh, I'm going to flip in there and see what happens. And there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a video of that last one that I caught because I uh, my, my GoPro filled up on space. Uh, and I was too lazy to, to uh, change out the memory card. But I, I finished up the day just flipping up the rest of this bank and never got another bite out of the Kissimmee grass. Um, I'm planning on heading out there again soon. I'm gonna try the same thing just to get a little bit more work uh, flipping a jig and um, hopefully get some uh, some bigger bites. But um, that pretty, pretty much wraps it up for my last trip out here on on Lake Kissimmee. Uh, if you've got any questions, in the, please let me know in the comments. If you've got any requests for videos, let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to make some videos um, for anybody that wants to see anything specific. On that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it, subscribe, and I hope to see you checking out my future videos. Tight lines, guys.